Hey Cycling Community, this is Steve Grusis at Cycling Creek, and this is one of our little munchkins here, Brian. Now Brian is part dachshund, which means that little look that he gives you is somewhere between I don't give a shit what you want and I'm going to kill you. Huh. Like, like that look right now. We're going to talk about a number of things today. The heat we've been having and how to adapt to it, weight loss, and give you an update on my bike. So, let's start with the bike. If you see my previous video, there was this ticking sound every time I did a rotation on the pedals when I was going uphill. It wasn't happening all the time, just when I was going uphill and when I was in my uh, small ring. So, ordinarily, I have my bike over here, and uh, this bike, which I use for crits and sometimes commuting, I have over on that one right there. But right now, that bike, my other bike, my regular road bike, is in the shop, and they are going to put in a new bottom bracket. I had changed the, uh, I had greased the chain ring bolts. It's been a long time since I have done any bottom bracket work on it. I mean, we're talking years and years. We thought it'd be a good time to actually change the bottom bracket. So we're thinking that's what's going to do it, but we're going to find out after it's done. Let's talk about weight loss. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that my diet is predominantly plant-based. Even though it's plant-based, if you eat a lot, you still eat a lot. Around March of this year, I was up to 171 pounds, and when I was the leanest a few years back, I was between 160 and 161. Now, I had done a lot of lifting, a lot of upper body lifting, heavy lifting, uh, starting around the middle of last year. And so my strength had increased, and so I stopped that heavy lifting and just went to body weight and a lot of light weight to lifting after March because my workouts on the bike got a lot tougher. And being 64 now, there's only so much energy that I have that I can uh, divvy out. 171 was pretty heavy and I didn't care too much about losing weight in the, early, in the early months of the season because a lot of the races were flat for me. Now climbing was starting to happen in the races and my main goal that I had for the district road race I had some climbing in it so I decided well I better start losing some weight. So what I did, nothing special, I just started eating less. No aimless eating, no munching, making sure that my portions were smaller. So my weight then went from 171 down to about uh, 165, 166. And it plateaued there. Now, I could, in the beginning, I could grab us a handful of stomach fat. At that time, it got down to where I could get about a third of a handful. So I've been making some progress. So what I did then is I started experimenting because this always was on my mind, so I thought I'd give it a shot now, time-restricted eating. So I started by making sure that my, that my food intake was during a 12-hour period during the day. Well, that was somewhat easy to do. And so I went down to 10 hours, and then on some days where I can do it, I'm doing 8 hours. And now those are on non-riding days. On riding days, because of timing and because of the type of workouts that I'm doing, I'm getting closer to the 12 hours. Since I've been doing that, my weight now has been flirting around with 164 to 165. Still have a little ways to go, but doing a lot better. Will I ever get down to the 160, 161? If I stop lifting altogether, possibly. Even though I'm not as strong now as I was a few months ago before I stopped lifting heavy, I still am a lot stronger than I was before I started lifting heavy. Of course, I don't want to lose too much too quickly because then the power starts to go. Just nice and easy, and I'm good with that. Now, I do have this climbing road race in which there's a four and a half mile climb, and of course I want to be lighter for that, so it's not like I'm going to lose a lot of weight in the next four days. I just don't want to uh, do anything stupid and start munching aimlessly or something like that. The last thing I want to talk about is the heat we've been having and what I've been doing to adapt. And for that, let's go to the video. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I live that 101 degrees is a welcome break from the heat. On one day it got to 110 degrees. Now on this day, the high was about 103 or 104. We start this ride at 6.30 in the evening. I start my 60 to 90 minute slow warm up about 4.30. And today was no different. Although I didn't do my usual pickups during the ride, I just kept it easy to do more of heat training so I could continue my adaption to the heat. I had a lot of water with me with electrolytes and I was drinking a lot, but halfway to my usual turnaround point, I got that feeling that I better turn around now, and I did. I went back to my car, got some more water, went to the bike shop to cool down, and then when I felt a little better, I went back out for a little spin again. 
and I repeated that process one more time. By the time we started the ride, it was 6.30, and the start temperatures was about 95 degrees, and you can see right now it's gone down to 93. Though I'm considerably more comfortable now, I was spending earlier time in the heat riding, and I am 64, so it's still a question whether I'm going to be able to stay connected to these guys or not. I find that this season I'm doing much, much better with the heat than I have in previous years, and that's probably because I'm coming into the summer a lot more informed than I had in those previous years. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm going to outlast these younger guys and gals when we start pouring on the gas. I've been doing what I could to adapt to the heat. Often it meant taking a 30 to 60 minute easy ride when I, on a day that I didn't have any intervals to do. On some of those easy 30 to 60 minute rides when I was feeling good, I threw in a sprint or two or some other very short interval that wasn't going to overtax me. A good way to adapt to the heat is actually doing intervals in the heat, but you can't do that too often because you'll just cook and you'll go backwards. Fast forward a bit and I have just been missing pulls because I can feel that heat building up inside of me and I wanted to make it to the turnaround point. Katu Shannon saw that I was still riding in the back and she told me not to be a girly man and go up and take a pull. So I started to go up and take a pull. Now I started the heat build up even more. There was a slight wind going from left to right and I kind of figured that once I pulled off then I was going to die and not be able to hang on to anybody that was going to attack or pull through. So I get up to his wheel and I'm now just praying and just trying to hug that thing. All of a sudden, he sees I'm not going anywhere, anyone else coming up, so he decides just to go off, and there's, I just can't answer that. I realize things are just shattered behind me, and I'm hoping that I can recover cool enough so I can get on somebody's wheel. People keep going by. Man, there's a lot more people that show up than I thought were going to show up. Some more people go by, and maybe I can hang onto these wheels. There's the VC. Maybe I can get onto that group. And it almost looks like I can, but I'm cooking. I'm absolutely cooking. All of a sudden, a possibility. Now, if these guys don't attack or don't even increase their speed by a lot, maybe I can recover enough, cool enough, that I can hang on to them to the turnaround. Well, that was a nice thought. When I finally did get to the turnaround point with some water there, I was cooking. I definitely was cooking. And then when we took off again, I was on people's wheels. And then, same thing happened. Speed increased, I fell off. I rolled back to the car, knowing that I had a very good heat adaption workout. I hope you got something out of this video. Let me know how you do in the heat, and what you do to adapt to it. Comment, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to get notified of the next video. The Cycling Greek.